Hi, my name is Regine, and that's Charlie. I'm back here. And this is Yarn and Glass, episode 13. And Whoa. it is a podcast about uh, fiber-related things, knitting mostly, and um, mosaics, two of the things that, that I do, and Charlie helps with a lot of that, especially the mosaic part. And so we're going to st- and you can find me on social media as Mosaics by Virgine or um, mostly at Mosaics by Virgine. But I'll have a, the whole list at the end of the podcast. So uh, where are you now? I, we are in Texas okay. and this is uh, the, the I'm studio. I'm a The uh, Mosaic Studio, it's really just an office, but... Uh, Mosaic Studio in Texas, and okay. I am getting ready for a show in um, Kerrville, Texas in March. Yeah. Uh-huh. That um, is a weekend show, art show, so I'm preparing some new mosaics for that show, and one of them okay, I'm is... Gonna, I'm going to stand up here okay. so we can actually one see One of it. them is okay, this guy here, go. who is... Oh, there's some blue on him. Um, I'm just finishing the sky on him, and uh, this is a longhorn. This is from a photograph that, that we took on a bike ride. Um, how, long, how long ago was that? Oh, like, a long time ago. No, years and years <laughs> Probably ago. 15 years ago. Yeah. It was um, outside Lawrence, Kansas, actually. Uh-huh. And this guy came up to a fence, um, a barbed wire fence. You can see the line here from the photograph that I had underneath. Um, and I, so I want to put barbed wire on the top. Yeah. So we stopped at the American fencing store yesterday Whoa. to get the lowest, the lowest grade or the lowest, the finest, finest small, um, barbed, barbed wire barbed barbed that wire. we could get. Yeah. And, and the, the yes. gentleman there was very kind and gave us a piece of barbed wire, uh-huh. this piece. And if you can tell it's and really unwieldy. It's a little unwieldy. It would be really cool to use it, yeah. I think. That's and where, yeah, yeah. Like and straighten it out and put two pieces on here. Yeah. Um, I'm either going to do that or then we went to the craft store and we bought some thin wire and I could yeah. actually twist this and make yeah. the little twisties and make my own barbed wire, which might make more sense and would be safer. <laughs> so yeah. I, I want two pieces. So I want one there and one there. So we'll see. I, this actually looks kind of good. The, I think the big barbed wire is too big, but it was kind of fun to go in there and tell them why we wanted the barbed wire. And they gave us free barbed wire. And they gave it to me. We could have got, gotten a lot more barbed wire, too. Well, he gave yeah. us two rolls, two yeah. circles. So we have one this color and one a little shinier. Yeah. But it's just too hard to bend. And I think, I don't know. Well, we haven't made up our minds. We haven't made up our mind. What do you think? Yeah. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you think. Real, Bar- real, real barbed, barbed wire, wire or fake barbed or wire. Or fake, you know, little tiny jewelry barbed wire. Yeah. And, and then this guy over used here. this. I made a long time ago, this mirror, grapevine mirror. And I had um, these crappy pearl beads on there. And, and I didn't, I never liked it. It just yeah. looked kind of cheap. Yeah. So I took all those off and I replaced it with these um, dark red marbles and it looks a lot better. Yeah, good, real close. So I, I, um, I kind of redid it, which I think will help this mirror. You can see how close the detail and everything is too on yeah, it. Yeah, the, this, this is a really mirror. Nice. This is a design I used to make a lot. Yeah. I haven't made this design with the different color background right. for a uh-huh. long time, but um, I like it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So that's basically all I've been doing in the studio, other than just the things I already have made. Well, do you want to mention your foot? Oh, my foot is still, well, it's now it's in an ankle brace. Well, here, let's do it. <laughs> the foot, boot is foot, gone. Foot close up. The boot is gone, and it's on? an ankle brace for a month, 24 hours a day. But actually, I'm walking pretty well with it. So you might get up pretty soon. And the good, good news is you don't have to have it amputated. No, not, not we're, today. We're happy. Not okay. today. So we're also going to do a little bit of yarn, and we're going to do shop talk. Shop a talk. little bit of shop talk. A little bit of shop talk. Okay.
So tune in. You know, this is Shop Talk. Segment two. And I love being on camera. <laughs> it's my, my joy in life. But anyway, I'm supposed to talk about what I do to help Virgin, besides carrying things for her. Right. Setting things up in the air for her. Right. But I, what, one thing I do is I make some of the frames that we use. Yeah, and we forgot to mention this. We forgot, so we're going back. On this guy. Uh, but here's a, there's a couple, some I don't make, but this one is uh, from just plain barn wood, wood. And the barn wood naturally curved a little bit in, so you didn't have to route this to make it look better, but it kind of curves in like this. And the other thing is, you know, it's maybe the paint is lead paint because it's really old. So I sanded off some of it that was loose, and I put a little bit of a coating over it to protect, to protect so that it doesn't yeah. shed anymore. Paint. But I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't chew on you the side of it. it. I wouldn't no. eat, do not eat this frame. Do not eat this frame. But then I made this. Where frame did we get that barn wood? Where we got that? And I don't know. Maybe in Minnesota, I think, probably Minnesota. I think our friends in Minnesota. Yeah, probably does. did. Their, um, a relative of theirs was tearing down a barn. Yeah, I think and so. And we got yeah. a whole well, lot of We got some more of it, so we're going to yeah. use this more. But I think it looks really nice this with Virginia's work. really cool barn wood. Yeah, and yeah. you see the old nail holes over here. Yeah, it's, I it's, love it's a real this deal. kind of stuff. I love authentic, real... Yeah. It's probably real older than us, maybe. Old stuff like that. Old stuff. Yes. Okay, here. Yes. Look up here. This is one we made, too. Uh, and I made that. that. And Virginia, I, I did wrap that out. Right. And Virgin put... Um, uh, ankle, ankle weaving. Yeah, ankle weaving in, in here. Right. And I think the, and the wood is really nice, too. I like the different color a little bit in it. Yeah. But, but the horse, you see the horse in there, it matches that. Yeah. I mean, it's just a really yeah. a nice setup. So yeah. the, that, that was so one, too. So that's just two of them. So and now then we're, we're going to we're walk walking, out into the walk, hall. We're walking now. Because we have a new piece out here yeah. that we just hung. That is, uh, for peop the people that have seen, the, uh, seen us before, I, we have a really large tappa cloth, uh, which uh, we've talked about bef and before. And if you, if you don't know what that is, uh, you could either go back and watch the, the, uh, that episode on what number it was yeah, or whatever. But the tappa cloth is made, like in Polynesia, out of bark. And uh, the one in the... Um, in the other room, the big one is is over a hundred years old, and um, I mean, it's just maybe not hundred years, about eighty years old. But anyway, on this one, this is a tap cloth that we bought, and I in thought in Salado, Salado in Texas, yeah. And I thought it'd be good to put it on the wall. I just liked it. It's not real big or anything, so I made made the the wood, and it's kind of an odd design. I but like the frame is just yeah. different. It's not a. It's not it the typical frame. Knobs on the side. I like. There's it. knobs on the side. This is dark, different uh, wood that, uh -huh. that kind of covers right. some things up. Because and, we mounted the um, yeah the tablecloth on weedy boards, so the edge of the weedy board would have shown. Right. Uh -huh. So you had to cover the sides, yeah. and usually, then the top and the bottom you yeah, made. Yeah, and usually I would route out that, but it, we just didn't know that I, was going to well, work I that like way. I like it just with the top yeah. and bottom. Yeah, and then. Virginia and put, then I did more ankle. Yeah. So we ankle, routed this the out. The ankle weaving. Yeah. Uh, in, in a routed area on the bottom. Yeah. So, yeah. So like that, it. Uh, it, that's all the and that's shop the talk end that of I know. shop talk today, right? That's the end of shop talk today. Right. More, more later. More later. One more shop talk. We have extended, <laughs> extended shop talk because right. we forgot. We forgot one else. thing. This is a new project yes. that Virginia's making me do because she wants to keep me busy, but she got a present right. from... It was an advent, yeah. um, it was from a friend, friend. at an advent really good friend. wine calendar. And so there were 12, there were 12 test tubes of wine. Wine, right? it, yeah, and she... And so what we're, what we're thinking, I'm really excited about this, is that find the one that has millefiori in it? Uh oh. That you'll make a stand. Um, I there. found it. I found yeah. It here. So um, you can see some it, sort of wall stand, and I can put millefiori in each one, a different color. How do they? What do, do they know? What millefiori is? Well, millefiori is. It's. I think it stands for a hundred flowers in yeah. Italian. Um, but it's um, glass. It starts with a glass tube. 
and they, they, they make a tube and then cut it into little tiny pieces and often there's a flower in the middle. But I use it a lot in my mosaics and this is just one of my containers. Yeah. I have a lot of containers of this, all different sizes. So it would be cool to have 12 of them in a little stand, in a little wall hanging thing where they show. So, so basically I'm gonna do, take some wood, right? Right. And cut, it, and cut out to fit this pattern. Cut the circles Because this out. gives you, uh, you know, like a temp, template. To, to hold them, yeah. To hold them, and you, you know, as a, have a tool to just make and them And then something that right? will, so then they I'll, don't go through. <laughs> yeah, right, then I'll, I'll put them, <laughs> yeah, yeah, or you just hold them over the well, thing. The and anyway. Like a thing on the bottom? Yeah, or, well, you'll put know. something on the bottom and you probably have a piece of wood here, a little piece of wood here, a piece of there. Yeah. And that way, when you look at it from the side, you're going to see all see these all different the colors. things. The colors. Yeah, yeah. But yet it'll hold them solid. Yeah. And it'll, it'll be, be cool. just dynamite. Twelve in a row. Twelve in a yes. row. And I like we, it. And, and we got to drink the wine, too. Right. And yeah, so we'll need, it's, um, it's you good. know, it's good 12, thing. maybe, you know, a hundred more. A hundred more. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Thank you, Sheila, <laughs> by the way. Anyway. <laughs> So uh, that's that's uh, one of one of the projects that I'll be that I'll yes, be working on. That's next next month. That'll be next, done, right? Next month it'll be done. Cool. So you can see it. Okay? All right. Okay. okay. That's the end of shop talk. All right. So knitting, I have well, I'm I'm going to show a few pictures of things that I gave away for Christmas. One was a hat for baby Eva's um, great grandmother, 98 year old great grandmother who moved from California to St. Louis and I thought she needed a hat. So I uh, made that and I made um, Eva's stocking, I'll show that. And I made a lot of um, tortilla warmers, I sewed those. Mm -hmm. And so there's the picture of those coming up right there. And so here's some knitting that I've been working on. This actually has been in timeout in <laughs> something for a very long time. This is a, a cardigan that I started a long time ago and I'm, I am going to work on it this month. This is um, hand dyed yarn and it's the rose quartz pattern and it's really almost done. I'm gonna put a little more length on it and I'm going to put a great big um, button band without buttons, front band on it with this dark color and pockets have to be made, but that's easy. And then it'll be done. And I don't know why it's been sitting so long, but I'm gonna finish it because there's another sweater I wanna make. So that, that is going to, that is, that is out for a reason. Okay. And second, I, have, I had a couple advent calendars and I'm turning a lot of the um, minis that I got into this hat full of minis, which by knitting I love. I love this pattern. It's all these little folded. Close, yeah. Isn't it cool? It's all, each, each little uh, fold is gonna be a different color. So yeah. that's yeah. just the brim of it, but uh -huh. um, I really like how that's coming along. So that will be fun. It's always fun to add a new color to that. And the other thing that I've been working on, where'd it go? Is someplace. Um, oh, there it is. So see the pattern on this? Isn't that cool? See uh -huh. the stripes? Yeah, that's cool. Well, the stripes have a meaning. Do you know what it is? Um, well, let me get my piece of paper. Is it like a tree? So I could explain stripes? the meaning. No. No? Uh, it is like, I have no idea. So, and this makes sense because this is coming up on um, March 3rd, 3, 4, 3, 4. Three, four? No, three, one. Pi day, pi, it's pi. So pi. I've got three, oh. three, one, oh four, God. one. I have to look. <laughs> three, one, four, one, five, nine. And then I'm gonna do two, six. So I'm trying to do the numbers in pi. Uh, up until the, where I do the heel. Is this I don't know how far all I'll the go. mathematical folks around and like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's cool <laughs> to have pie socks. Now, I, I didn't make this up. I just saw one of my one of the podcasters I really like named uh, the podcast is named um, Quirky Monday, 
she was making these a while, quite a while back. Uh -huh. Pie socks. She made pie socks. I, you know, I didn't know that, and I've, I've never heard that. <laughs> but you just box. do the rows. You just okay. do the colors in the rows. But I have to have a chart <laughs> because I, I know the 314, but then it goes a lot. It, there's a lot of so numbers. You could, keep you could going have on a very, that? very long sock. A very long sock. But it won't be that, no. Okay. It, I, don't, I think it goes on forever, but I may be wrong. And that's all the knitting that I'm kind of, I'm working on other things, but those are the more interesting things. <laughs> <laughs> and now we forgot one other segment. We are going to do a segment of things that I have sold, made and sold through the years. And I don't have them all, but some of them some I, have. Never, I never ended up, I didn't end up with an example, but I have a lot of them. And so I, I thought it would be fun to show because I've been I have been selling things well, um, since I was a child. A little, so, a little bit of it. It's, yeah. uh, it's a great story. But I remember you when I first met you, and it was Christmas time. That you had Christmas ornaments that you just made. Yeah. And I I bought uh, three oh, or four of yeah. them. Oh yeah. Remember that? School. Yeah, I brought some of them into school, school and yes, and, you and, bought uh, some of I my bought, ornaments. <laughs> yeah, and, and but yeah. there, it's been a real interesting progression. It has, it has. I don't, I don't do those kinds of things much anymore, no. except for the dragon gloves and the gnomes, yeah, and a few other things, but nothing like I used to do. So that we're gonna cut to that. Cut to that. So we're gonna cut to that. Yeah. Okay. So we didn't forget it. No. That's a good thing. Good. All right. Okay. Yeah. So I have, I have pretty much always sold things all of my life. I started in Chicago selling the loom pot holders with the loops door to door in Chicago by myself, probably eight years old. I sold them for, I can remember this, one for 15 cents, two for a quarter. <laughs> and I'm sure my parents bought the loops for me, so I, I had no cost, so it was all profit. <laughs> and eventually I sold so many door to door that I hired somebody to um, be my salesperson and they would get a nickel if they <laughs> sold one. I, that, I don't know how long I did that, but it was quite a while. I made a lot of pot holders. So that started my love of making money. <laughs> <laughs> Wanting to make money, uh -huh. you know, I did the typical babysitting stuff, but I was always wanting to make things. My, my mom was always making things. So, through the years, I have made a lot of things and sold them. Um, some of which I don't have anymore, which is sad, but I have examples of quite a few of the things. It surprised me when I started gathering them up into a container. Uh -huh. But one of the first things that I remember after the potholder looms, because I don't think I did much in high school. I think that was just too weird to do that in high school. But in college, I sold, um, well, no, it was after college. I take that back. College, I probably sold hand knits because I know I was knitting. Mm -hmm. So, and those are all gone. But after college, we were in a little town in Rhode Island and we would um, stand in line every Saturday morning. You could stand in line at a braid factory and you got a grocery bag full of their scraps and it might have had a line in it or a seam in it or something wrong. It was their remnants, um, their rejects. And they would sell them and it seems as though it was five dollars a bag. And it was a lot of braid. And that this is some of it. This is like nineteen seventy braid. <coughs> and I had I had cartons and cartons oh of this. And so then, of course, I had to make it into something. So I started selling purses. I actually found one left. <laughs> and I would sew this braid together and make a purse, different sizes. Um, and I think this is why I love the Inkle Loom so much, mm -hmm. that I'm making yeah. this braid um, again, because it reminds me of those days mm -hmm. with getting the braid. And it's funny that I still have a container of this braid left from 1970. But I, we, would, we would use it in our sewing, my sister and I. 
Um, we, we, I did um, robes and things like that and, and did border. I would, I would patch my jeans with braid, um, so it would be like on the knees of it my was jeans. Style, wasn't it? A little, little bit. bit. Well, I wasn't bad. It was hippie like, so and that was me. So yeah. So that I ve I definitely remember the braid error era. <laughs> <laughs> then, well, this isn't in order, but um, I made I have made a lot of these kitchen towels mm -hmm. that hang on the stove, and I still make these. Um, one of my sisters loves these, so she gets a lot. Of, she gets these almost every Christmas. Um, so I just take a dish, I just take a towel and cut the top off uh -huh. and, and yeah, sew the thing. Yeah. So I sewed, I made those. I also made a lot of bibs. I remember that. <laughs> and you would, I would just take a tea towel, cut a hole on the top, put, um, ribbing on it, and then embroider, I had a broider, in, I do have an embroidery machine. This one says puree mine, please, because we were in Minnesota. My yeah. favorite one that I don't have, it's, it had a fish on it and it said, walleye, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> and those <laughs> sold, yeah, those, I sold yeah, a yeah. lot of those bibs. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then I made a lot of baby bibs like that. And they're, they're actually really nice bibs. Um, here's another thing that I sold a lot of. These are little welcome signs, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Embroider, um, embroidered with cross stitch. Um, lots of work put into these, and I the price tag's still on here, and it says twelve dollars. Okay. I cannot make, imagine making this for twelve dollars today. <laughs> that there's a lot of work in that. Yeah, sure. But anyway, I have an I have an example. This. Can you guess what this is? <laughs> um, dinosaur. This no, no. is <laughs> this. You put a turkey on the back of this. I'm a turkey. You put a pineapple <laughs> on the back of this, and it's a turkey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and it's your Thanksgiving decoration. Actually, I have two or three of these, and I should really bring these to the next Thanksgiving. Because you should. Yeah, you they're, should. They're, they're, they're really funny. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, you put a real a pineapple on the back, and it has a toothpick, so it stays on. Pretty clever. Sold Pretty a clever. lot of those. Um, here is another time from when I was doing a little bit yep. of quilting pot holders. Heart pot oh, holders, yeah. and they were um, kind of yeah, what strips of fabric? Uh -huh. Four dollars, crazy what a person. Deal. What this a was deal. a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. And then I made a lot of tote bags with this little star pattern. I don't have a tote bag left, but I have um, some of the uh -huh. little ornaments left from from when I was doing that. Um, this I made a lot of these. This is a spice ball. Yeah, yeah. That's and nice. I would put um, cinnamon cinnamon sticks in it, and these still smell. Yeah. And you what can, was this? 19... It smell it. Oh, 19... God, I, I mean, I probably made these in the 90s for sure, probably in even in the 80s. Yeah, and I used to 90s. then put um, mistletoe, fake mistletoe on the bottom so yeah. people could hang them. And they're really pretty, actually. Yeah, they're yeah. all different Christmas fabrics on a styrofoam um, ball and hang up. So yeah. I have, I think I have three of those left, yep, which is yep. cool. I made these for a long time, and I have no idea why I have Amy, but I have Amy. My kids have had them, and I would, uh -huh. I would do these as commission. So I'd have an example at a craft show, and they could order it and pick it up. So this will be that quite a bit of work too. Oh yeah, a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work. <laughs> clowns, oh my! I don't think clowns are in anymore. Uh, now, here's another of one of the little star patterns. This uh -huh. is actually a star pattern that I would put on a tote bag. This is a <coughs> this is a little coin purse. Oh yeah, but that's, that's, cute. that's cute. So there's that, and I have no idea why I have um, these. But I think I was making something out of le uh, fabric leaves, mm -hmm. Christmas fabric leaves. I don't know why. Um, then, with the Christmas oh, theme, oh, yeah. I have a lot. I have ornaments. Ornaments. And for a while, yeah. I was kind of addicted to making ornaments out of clo the old-fashioned clothespins. So I made a skier. Oh. That skier doesn't have skis. He Most of them ski. had skis. <laughs> and the skis were um, stirs. Oh, stirs. 
stirs you Coffee have, stirs, yeah. wooden coffee stirs. Uh -huh. And there's a chicken. <laughs> oh my God, there's a chicken. Let me get real close. Hold the chicken. The chicken. Up. Oh, he's oh cute. My God. Look at the detail chicken. on That's him. He's too cute. And there is Santa. Whoops, that shouldn't be there. What is that? Oh, oh his bag is gone. Well, that's terrible. No, maybe his bag is on the back. Yeah, his bag I don't know on what the, the string is. But anyway, Santa. They're kind of worse for wear. And yet another clown. I think people are afraid of clowns. <laughs> Too many bad movies. That's really, look at his face. Get it. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, clowns that's are bad. Clowns are bad. And scary. then I made, I like these actually. But yeah, I, I think I bought one of those from you. This. I remember it. Is rocking horse. Oh, he yeah. needs gluing. So he has a wooden rocker uh -huh. and and lots of embellishment. Yarn for his mane sure. and his tail. He was actually kind of cute. And little Christmas trees made out of... Yeah, I remember those too. Yeah. Little tiny spools. Yeah. Those and are... little brooms with cross stitch. Remember those? Yeah, it goes. That's a lot of work. Yeah. And... There's another one with a heart. Oh my gosh, crazy, Man. crazy. And um, then I made a lot of, um, and I'm still making these actually, because I want to make a tree using all um, snowflake, crocheted snowflakes. Uh -huh. But I used to make them and sell them. And there's a price on one of these, I think. Uh, yeah, how much? And these are real, some of them are real dainty. $2.50. Whoa. That's quite a bit of work, too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Don't even ask me to make that for $2.50. <coughs> okay. That is not going to happen. And I made a lot of little girls' barrettes. Wait a minute. We're getting... Okay, now I got it. $3.50 on the back. I made a lot does of those. Does this sound like an info commercial? This was crazy. Okay, and then I found this box. I didn't even remember making these. These are magnets. Okay. made out of um, covered button uh -huh. pieces. So then I'd put the little cross stitch inside the covered button, put a magnet on the top, on the back. There's a ladybug ready to happen. So I have this whole box of these. Like all the embroidery's done. Here's a, oh, it's so cute, a coffee pot. Oh my gosh. God. I didn't even know I had these. I couldn't even remember making these. I mean, look at the detail. There's a horse. Look at over here. Like right here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> anyway, a whole box. Whole box that's just crazy. So getting then past all this, although <laughs> I was still making a lot of this, then I discovered, uh-oh, where'd it go? Well, we moved things. I discovered and, something. And I discovered that if I made name bracelets, they would sell. And so I would have a thousand, probably about a thousand of these on a, on a display that took up a whole long, long white table, two different displays in right, alphabet, right. and then a whole bunch more in the back in little drawers. So and I, I would have them half made. Well, I had a lot of, a lot of names already uh -huh. out there, but I had them half made and I would say, they would say, oh, you don't have Alicia Maya. And I said, no, but I can make it. If, you know, come back in an hour, I can make it. So they would come back in an hour, and I would have had it done in how long? Ten, ten minutes or something. I think like it eight was ten minutes. eight minutes. I could, yeah, I could finish the bracelet in eight minutes, and it cost me something like seven cents. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a heck of a moneymaker, you have to admit. It was a heck yeah, of a moneymaker. It was, it was, but yeah. it was just got so monotonous and yeah, so yeah. it was like it was certainly it not wasn't creative as rewarding no. oh along the way i we found stained glass and that was a class we took together we when did. we first we got married it. i gave him a class that's how i got into mosaics because i had all that broken glass but i did do some stained glass yeah, and i did uh, sell some yeah uh -huh. i sold um a lot of these stars. Some stars, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I have a few left, and they really do look pretty it's in pretty. the window. Mm -hmm. The light goes through. They the look, light they goes look nice through them. Nice. Um, this is kind of cross, funny. Yeah. I would make... Should I tell this story? <laughs> no, you say no. 
Um, we were at um, our daughter's um, college weekend and they had an art show in town. And um, it was a really good art show actually. So we were there for the weekend um, and we did the art show. It was a craft show. Uh -huh. He's saying, don't tell the story. Do you know the story? Yeah, I know the story. <laughs> Don't tell it. <laughs> you know what they can do? They can guess a story and, and, and write what they think the story is. No, 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 because no, they, no, uh... no. <laughs> no, I'm telling the story. So a friend of our daughter's came with her family and they kept looking at our crosses, my crosses. I had made these. And, um, and they, <laughs> they must have known about me. That, I, that I'm not religious, organized religion, I am not. And I could hear them standing off, off a ways, because they really wanted to buy one. And I could hear them kind of whispering like, Should, do we buy a cross from an atheist? Is that, is that something that is good and, to do? <laughs> and then I, who am a Catholic, <laughs> So it's a great idea. <laughs> no, you did. We didn't interrupt them. They we did. Didn't interrupt they them, did buy the cross. Bucks, yeah. They did buy the cross, and I don't think it cursed them or anything. No, I surely you, not. No. Surely you, not. Surely not. But I thought it was funny. Okay, then in Minnesota, because it's so cold, we live near a um, woolen mill. Yeah. Woolen mill, very well known, Bemidji Woolen Mill, and they also, you know, speaking of scraps, they would sell their remnants. Right. And big, large pieces of gorgeous remnants with designs on them mm -hmm. um, might have a line in it, or might have a just um, something where they didn't cut it right, or you know. And they would they would sell this this knitted yeah. fabric uh -huh. that they were making sweaters out of for nothing at the beginning. I, we would fill our trunk. I remember it was. Was it two dollars a pound? Maybe it was two dollars a pound. Something, something like that. It and real, we would fill cheap. the trunk for like ten dollars, with yeah. just really nice wool. yards and yards of yeah. this gorgeous stuff. So I figured out how to make mittens, and I lined them with um, yeah. fleece. Yeah, there. They're really warm. I made a lot mm -hmm. of these. They're really actually nice mittens. <laughs> Texas are not too. Uh, they don't sell well here. No. And I put a little handmade in Minnesota tag on how to wash them. So it gets good. Very, good professional. Nice. Yeah, very professional. Very <laughs> professional. Um, sold a lot of those, but I have really gotten rid of a lot of that kind of thing that, um, from yeah, Minnesota. Well. We probably I probably had five tubs of this stuff of the ready material? to make mittens. Yeah, right. And I I maybe saved. A very small amount of it. Yeah. But I also was in a little shop in Walker, Minnesota, where we sold for a while. We sold we sold mosaics there. Yeah. But we also sold some knits there. So uh -huh. I would sell. I would have a whole wall of these little caps that I would make, baby caps. Mm -hmm. Actually, sold a and lot some, of these. And berets too. You had some berets. And, and stuff. The, this is a stuff. doll. This is a an doll, American yeah. girl doll beret. Uh -huh. But I made them in all sizes. So I made berets and caps, and um, yeah, and um, oh, and I'm, then I started making different other kinds of hats. This is an an enemy an enemy hat, mm -hmm. but um, then just lately the dragon gloves. So these are the this now we're current time dragon gloves and ta da ta da gnomes gnomes, <laughs> gnomes. this is a UT gnome. University of Texas. He's no. called Hook'em. <laughs> Hook'em. And I love his arms are up in the air. Yeah, he's, he's I do love, cute. I love him. Show him the other, uh, the other one there. Oh, you like this guy. Yeah. This guy. He gave me that one. Rock, That's rock chalk. Rock chalk. Jayhawk. Yay, rock Yay, chalk. K-U. Yeah. K-U. Yeah. So those are... I don't even have all the things I've made over the years, but that's a pretty good I've got a question for selection. You. Has all this work kept you out of trouble? A lot, uh, very much. Kept you, kept you busy? It certainly kept me busy. <laughs> oh, and I forgot about the light bulb necklaces that <laughs> the poor, our, my poor children had to drill you holes made your children? in light bulbs. You oh know, the big God. Christmas light bulbs that are about that big. <laughs> I had to have holes in them uh -huh. to string to make a light bulb necklace. It didn't light up, but um, it had bells in between. <laughs> yeah. I would pay so, them. I would pay them. You would pay them. 
Okay, that's good. <laughs> to drill holes. You know, they may be watching this and they say, wait a minute, let's wait, see, do you still owe I, me money? I, I think there's some work? back pay coming. Back pay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there were any accidents, so that's so, good. So, out of all this... And I uh, do remember coming home from uh, craft shows with those bracelets where I'd have... I'd have a hundred mail orders because they couldn't wait an hour for a for a bracelet, or they yeah. wanted five bracelets. So I would have a hundred to make um, and to mail out. And and I think I know it was Alexa. She would put the letters in a, a muffin tin for me uh -huh. so that I could just grab the letters mm -hmm. and the color beads I needed to make. Should we be looking <laughs> up child labor laws <laughs> to make the? to make the bracelet to mail out. Oh my gosh, yeah. crazy. So those days are over. And are now, you, happy? You, you went into mosaic. <laughs> yeah, but I still sell things. And knitting, yeah. You know, it's, is it ever gonna end? Shows? No. Probably not. No, you'll never end. Probably not, probably not. But a lot of things over the years, crazy. Good, good so, work, my God. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, we will see you next time and like and subscribe, that'd be cool. Like and subscribe. We have a very small number. Well, the contest we next time. No, con no, no we're going to have a contest next okay, time. Okay, contest. Okay. We'll think of something. We'll think of something for a contest. Okay. We're sending ideas for a contest, <laughs> and we'll think about it. How's All right. Well, tell us what you think about the barbed wire. Should yeah. I use just, should I make my own, or should I use that stuff? I don't know what to do. Okay. But I definitely want barbed wire on top of it. Some some kind of deal's got to be on top. Yes, okay. that's got to. I've got to finish that soon. Okay. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye.